Peter Quillen takes out William Prieto. There is Peter Quillen, originally from Chicago. He calls New York home. He is 6'1", 161 pounds, 23 years old, turned pro in June 2005. Since then, 5-0 with four knockouts. And from just outside Akron, Ohio, comes William Prieto. He turned pro back on July 1st, fought again on July 7th, Two four round decision wins. Mike Ortega's the ref. Gentlemen, give me a good clean fight. Touch him up. Good luck to both of you. So, William Prieto, very active early on in his career. Busy very months active. to start his career. And he took this fight on one day's notice. But as you just alluded to, only fought three weeks ago. I'm going to just follow up on what you just touched on. The Prieto, talk about turning pro and getting busy, Joe. This is his third fight since turning pro on the first of this month. But he has a tough customer in front of him in Keelan. Keelan 5 0 with four knockouts. You always wonder when you see that kind of record how or opponent, what is it? We'll get a chance to look right now. Because Keelan has the advantage of having full time to prepare and condition himself, while Prieto did not. But he's not had the time to prepare for a southpaw. In this case, a Prieto, a guy who switches back and forth. That's where maybe Keelan can be at a little bit of a disadvantage, even though he has full time. When you can land a punch like that, there's no disadvantage. Ah, the right hand and good night. Good night stay indeed. Stay down, stay down. Peter Quillen. Big down. right hand and he just floors Prieto. Think these New York fans enjoyed that? Wow. We never even got a chance to say that. Quillen looked much bigger than Prado. Well, one thing for sure, Quillen landed the punch that he wanted to land against Prieto. Big right hand. Well, you always call it the southpaw killer. Peter Quillen lined it up, Teddy. Here it comes. Well, hands down of Prado. And Quillen, not a lot of work to do. Just step in the door and fill the hole where that left hand should have been. Once again, Quillen steps in with the right hand, left hand of Prado down, and down goes Prado. One last look. Quillen. How not to defend yourself. Measuring his man, keeping his legs in position, and closes the gap to a spot that should not be that wide open, but it was with the left hand of Prado down around his waist. What's up, John? Let's send it up to the ring to Greg Dubin. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout comes to an end at one minute, six seconds of the first round. The winner by knockout, Peter Kinchuklee. Now 6-0 and oh with five knockouts. The fourth first round knockout of his career. We will come back with more 